Hello and welcome back to the Tibby Show. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time since I've last posted. Way too long. So first of all, I'd like to apologize for that. In today's video, we are going to be playing as the Sammy, released from Sweden up here. It is a YouTuber Hoi4 challenge. Me and another Hoi4 YouTuber are doing this together. Um, basically, it's release yourself as uh, the Sammy from Sweden. You have to retake all your cores, which is in Norway, Finland, and up here in Russia. Uh, and then also you have to control and own Berlin, which is right here. Since I'm recording this intro after I'm done editing everything and having done the challenge already, I gotta say one more thing, and this hurts to say. Uh, there was one more rule that I had completely forgotten about, which is funny because I'm the one that made the rule. Uh, it's that you can't join a faction. Uh, in this video, I joined two factions. Yeah, so that was a real big goober moment on me, but I'm not going to restart because this video took me about 50 hours to edit, and I'm gonna keep it real with you. It's been it's been too long since I've last uploaded, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be posting this one. I put a lot of effort into this video. Um, I'm very excited to post it. I'm very excited for you guys to watch it. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make. Um, this one's a little bit different than than my usual videos. I'm gonna be doing a lot more talking, so uh, be prepared for that. Um, and it's gonna be longer to make up for you know missing out on posting for two months. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. For starter, it's going to be regular difficulty Iron Man mode and historical AI focuses. To play as the Sammy, the first thing I'm going to be doing is uh, releasing myself as the Sammy. I'm going to be releasing myself, playing not as a puppet. Release nation. So to start, I'm going to be doing political effort for that 120 political power. I am also going to be starting by researching paratroopers. I know it's kind of scummy, it's kind of gamey, it's kind of too easy, let's say. Um, but here's the thing. I have nine manpower. I have I have less than 500,000 people in my entire country and the vast majority of them are not recruitable. Um, the only thing I have going for me is my resources. I have one one civilian factory that I can't even use because of consumer goods. So yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be using paratroopers because I just I don't have an industry. I don't have manpower. So I, I got to use what I can. We get access to another one because of uh, trade. It's going to be coming in and out um, early game. Yeah. So it is what it is. It is what it is. But we'll just keep... Actually, no, I'm going to start by making a military factory. Uh, all of our civilian industry is going to have to come through our focus tree or through uh, conquering nations and puppeting them. So yeah, it's been a long time since uh, I've last posted. Um... I think it's going to be 80 days at this point. Yeah, I, I got I got really busy. Life got really, really just very chaotic. Uh, I got engaged um, about a, a month ago, actually, a month ago exactly. Let's uh, do collectivist ethos, and I'm going to do nationalism, focus, uh, militarism, military youth. Or do I want to... You know what? I'm going to do industrial effort first. And with my political power, I'm going to get this Brown Party demagogue because I will be flipping Brown Party. Because I have to fight the Soviets and the Allies. So, you know, can't be democratic because I got to go to war. And why would I communist when I have to fight these guys? Oh, but I also have to. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I've been I've been incredibly busy. Um, I got engaged. Uh, so I've been planning, planning the wedding. I recently also got a dog. He is a small corgi, uh, a little corgi puppy. I had, no, I had no idea that puppies were so much work. I've always been a cat person, right? Like my family's had dogs, but I only took care of the dogs when they were older, never when they were puppies, because my siblings were always like, oh, it's so cute. So we're gonna take care of them. And then when they're adults, we'll make you do it or something like that. So I always took care of the dogs when they were older. Um, so I never knew how hard of work they were. I thought they were like kittens, sleep most of the time, and they just kind of want to be left alone. That is not the case. That is not the case. They are so much work and they have so much energy and all they ever want is love and they want to be played with and they want attention and they want to chew on everything. Computer cords, wires, the wall, me. <laughs> it, I, I love him to death and he's my little buddy. He's my little editing assistant. Yeah, I, I love him, I love him. But he's so much work. Yeah, we're gonna save our political power. So we're gonna need a bit of it. Uh, I'm going to be getting one civilian factory before the civil war starts and construction one. So yeah, I've been with my fiance for about five years. I mean, I'm, I'm only 24, so I'm not that old, right? 
And I've had a lot of people tell me that I'm way too young. But here's the thing, I've been with this woman for five years. Growing up, my dad always told me, don't put your eggs in one basket. And that comes to everything in life. I'm putting all my eggs in this, this, <laughs> this woman basket. Um, no, she's really cool. She's really smart. She's hilarious. Uh, oh, I, I, no, I just love her. I love her. Uh, we are going to be preparing for a civil war. July 18th, we should be able to. We're going to go over to Belgium here. We're going to improve relations because Belgium is always the first country, in my experience, to sell guns. If you can get your relations up to 10, you automatically get market access. There we go. We are now in market access and there it is. They are selling guns. 342, that's really all we need. So we will purchase those and run over here. Calvary, perfect. Okay, I don't want to uh, deploy them. So let's just do that. Okay, Oof, we need so much political power. Yeah, let's move down to collectivist ethos. No, I'm, I'm very excited to be, uh, to get married. I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, my fiance, she's, she's the most wonderful person that I've ever met. Um, she's the most beautiful person in the world. Uh, I am absolutely convinced of that. She has, to this day, she has failed to make me not laugh. I have pretty severe anxiety. I have PTSD. Um, and she has helped me with those and she has pushed me to, to do better. Go to the gym, eat healthy, uh, move forward in life. You know, I, I think that's something that a lot of people don't appreciate enough is someone who loves them so much that they, they help them get better and she's helping me get better. Actually, she is the reason that I am recording a video right now. I didn't really know if I wanted to continue making YouTube videos because it was very overwhelming. And she told me that I should keep doing it. It's gaining a good amount of traction. The money is not bad. I'm gonna be honest, the money is not bad. I think in December I got paid like $700, January I got paid like $300, uh, February I'll probably make less because I haven't been uploading, but dude, that, that little amount helped so much. Before December, I was definitely paycheck to paycheck, barely getting by. Now we're talking about saving money, planning a wedding. It's not going to be ex an expensive wedding because no monies, but no, it's just, it's yeah, it's really, really cool. Uh, my, my trade is I'm an editor. Um, I work as an editor. And before you say, then why do your videos suck? <laughs> it's a good point. <laughs> it's a fair point. No, um, I'm an editor, so I don't know. It would be nice to work for myself. It would be very nice to work for myself. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do for the foreseeable future. I'm going to, I'm going to do maybe like three months till June. It's February. Yeah, like three months, four months, something like that. I'm going to upload a video once a week. So like three to four videos, three to five videos a month, depending on, you know, the month. That's the plan. If you want to support me, I don't know, man, just just continue watching my videos and enjoy them. And if you don't enjoy them, then I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I appreciate, I, I, I do. I appreciate anything and everything that you guys say and the, views and everything, but I don't know. I don't feel like I'm owed anything. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to keep all that because I was kind of rambling on, but I don't know. It's just, it's weird to talk about things like that. It really is. This is going to be a very different kind of video. Uh, it's going to be long. I'm suspecting probably a couple hours. Uh, we can do the civil war now. Oh, we can't because we don't got the manpower. So what we can do is go on to limited and then with militarism, that'll give us uh, 5%. Yeah, we'll just keep going. But yeah, so I, I do want to make this my full-time job. I do want to make this my career. Um, there, I do get quite a lot of comments asking if I'm on the verge of crying. I think that's hilarious. I've never had anyone tell me that, but throughout my videos, I get at least one comment uh, a week asking if I'm crying or if I'm sad or if I'm okay. Yes, I am okay. I am good. That's just how I talk. Uh, I think it's because, like, I don't know, maybe it's I'm just not very confident in talking to my... To myself constantly and holding a conversation with myself even though in all those videos I was just kind of saying what I was doing you know what? I don't know I honestly don't know okay I'm gonna start doing armament effort um, uh, so I'm going to be doing something that I learned from a uh, another hoi4 youtuber I'm gonna be putting the video on the screen right now um, please subscribe to his channel guys I have almost 4k hours in this game and how many hours do I have 
I have over 4k hours in this game and I'm subscribed to him because nearly every video that he puts out I learned something. Uh, that guy does amazing deep dives into Way 4 and gives a lot of great tips. Uh, yeah, but I, I learned that if you are about to go through a default focus tree Civil War, if you are um, doing the focus either construction effort or armament effort for that free uh, civilian or military factory, then uh, when the Civil War starts, both sides will be doing that focus at the same point. So you can potentially get a free uh, factory. So that's what I'm going to be doing, just so I can get one extra free free military factory. There's a way to game it where you can get like 10 factories by going through like 10 Civil Wars in four years. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I don't have time for that and because it's uh, the Sami is not really set up for it because they start non-aligned. From what I saw, it suggested like Paraguay, uh, Peru, Venezuela. Yeah, just so you can get into into a perpetual civil war. It's very cool. Please watch his video. He breaks it down on how it works. I, I hope he keeps it up. I hope he keeps making content. I, uh, I really do enjoy his videos. Okay, let's uh, start the civil war. So we can't right now because we don't have enough uh, or because we have too much stability. We have to have under uh, 50, but thankfully we can expand the civil support, which is going to get weekly stability negative 3%. There is literally no other reason that you would want to uh, expand civil support because you barely get any uh, daily brown party or whatever ideology you're going for support uh, at 0.02. And you lose a lot of daily political power. It's not worth it for anything except Civil War. Okay, we can do it. We are going to ignite the Civil War. We are the greater Sammy Realm. We are going to grab our one cavalry. Neither one of us have a factory, uh, a military factory, so I don't have to worry about them pumping out a troop. I can just sit here and wait for this focus to be done. And then I can just march through, take their victory points. I get a free factory. No reason not. To. Also, I now have paratroopers researched. I am going to be going into my division template. I'm going to be making a new one and just one. It's just going to be a two width. I'm not even going to name the division template because it doesn't really matter. I just need to be able to, uh, to be able to land. That's all I need. Also, this is probably dumb. Oh, should I extensive? No, I am going to go war economy now. It's probably dumb, but I'm going to do it while I have the war support. I'm going to be making guns because I have the steel for it. I don't have rubber and I don't have aluminum and I don't have civilian factories to uh, buy them to make it worth it. So I'm not going to be going after France. I know that you can, well, you used to, you can't anymore, uh, land France before they uh, join the UK, but I am going to be probably taking the Netherlands and maybe getting a couple collabs on France so I can take them whole, make a nice sick collab gov. Okay, let's do it. We're going to rush through. I like to wait a little bit just in case. Um, we should be seeing that military factory soon. Ooh, this is a good omen. If you ever get this event where Amelia Earhart uh, makes it across, that means that your game is gonna go well. Uh, and if it doesn't, well, you're just wrong. It did go well. Went well for the AI, but it went well. Look at that. Military factory, civil war is over. See, this is why you watch other YouTubers, guys. This is why this is why you watch other YouTubers because they're so much smarter than me. Uh, actually, I'm gonna be deleting you, <laughs> and I'm gonna be making. You know, I'm just gonna try to make a whole army of 24 of them. Uh, I think that's gonna be the best thing. Also, if you're ever playing Hoi Four, and you know you're kind of a noob and you don't really know what you're doing and you just won your first civil war, don't ever click this button the bonuses are trash compared to that daily political power gain of negative one that means for an entire year you can do nothing politically unless unless you refuse to do a focus for an entire year it is not worth it the vast majority of focus trees have focuses that'll give you more than 10 percent of uh, dockyard and factory output uh factory repair speed is a useless factor i'm just going to be honest um, maybe in multiplayer it actually matters because people actually maybe will build strap bombers, but the AI doesn't really. Uh, infrastructure construction speed and civilian factory construction speed of 
my guy. You can get that for 150 political power. And you keep it for the entire game. Don't, don't ever <laughs> click on this focus. So we're just gonna do that and forget about it. Uh, and let's do one more armament effort. And yeah, we'll just keep making guns for now. Uh, military factory is done. Sweet. Let's keep making more. Look at that. Four civilian factories. Two of them for trade, three from trade. Uh, so what we're probably going to have to do only 2,000 guns are needed. Yeah. I'll keep making guns for now. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to keep making uh, four guns a day, one factory on guns, and the rest are going to be on transport planes because I need a hell of a lot amount of those. And I'm going to buy from Hungary some uh, aluminum and from snow from British Raj because of that uh, convoy issue. Oh no, the British Raj is only gonna be giving me f five. I guess I can buy from Siam. We're gonna buy from Siam, use some of our convoys. That's fine. Uh, Yeah, this burst industry. Let's do military youth for 2% recruitable population. We need a lot of manpower. We got 14K right now. Guns aren't looking bad. And we're going to move up another conscription level. Uh, we're going to be recruiting a large portion of our population. Excavation 2. More resources. Uh, oh, I was just about to say, why do we have planes? I am so stupid. So we need at least 50 planes to uh, make a pair drop. Um, previously, you just needed one. So it was very easy to capitulate France. Let's do construction effort 2. Another civilian factory. Not bad, seven right now. Four from trade though. It's all that steel we got. Damn, we're gonna lose. <laughs> we're gonna lose Albania in a little bit. Uh, you're still looking fine. I am also going to go to the Germans. I'm gonna ask them if I can join their faction. They're gonna say yes. I'm gonna say thank you. And I'm gonna move my army down to Germany. They're gonna transport very slowly because I don't have enough convoys. Let's get this army offense guy. I really love the Sammy flavor. Uh, I know it's just a releasable, but I love the Sammy Regional Council, and I love how the, just the name changes, but we keep this this council. Uh, I love that there's unique little uh, uh, advisors and chief of army, navy, air force. Uh, you got generals. Paradox really needs to keep keep doing that. Uh, add in flavor, even for nations that are just releasables. I like it. I like it. What can I say? I'm a man who likes flavor. Okay. I am now going to be justifying a war goal on the Dutch East Indies. Uh, always justify on the Dutch East Indies instead of the Netherlands. Um, because there's always a chance the Dutch East Indies will be guaranteed by the UK. But here's a little secret. If you catch the uh, war goal on the hour, uh, even if they get guaranteed by the USA, uh, USA, uh, France or Britain, their overlord, the Netherlands, won't be. And because you have a Wargol on the puppet, you get a Wargol on the master. So just very quickly declare war on the Netherlands. Wait like, I don't know, a week, maybe? Three days, four days? And usually they'll call in the Netherlands, uh, Dutch East Indies, then you can capitulate them, take your puppet. Let's do infrastructure and then construction three. Um, yeah, just, just convoys. We're going to need a lot of these for our wars. Excavation 2 is done. Yeah, see, look. The Dutch East Indies have been guaranteed by the United Kingdom. Another, the Netherlands have not. So we're just going to keep an eye on that guarantee or that uh, justification. And the minute it's done, we will uh, be going to war. Expected to finish 29th of October. So around the 25th is when I will slow my game down. And then we'll just capitulate them as quickly as possible. Bring in our little new air force. We need 4k manpower for it. I'm gonna have to go to service by requirement. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to service by requirement now. Because as my planes get made, it's going to be more expensive manpower wise. So I would rather just take the hit to my industry. Because now like it's 5k. Yeah. And Paradox made it where you can't you can't just say how many planes like you could uh, in previous versions. 
I'm fine with that. I'm over it. And I'm going to plan a uh, para drop. And it's going to cover the entire fucking country. I can barely see the tiles now. So my strategy for this is literally just that Farquaad quote from Shrek. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Um, I'm willing to bet I'm probably going to lose 5 to 10k men just in this uh, para drop. But I am expertly okay with that because it's going to be worth it if I win. Yeah, we'll go off of doctrine okay i'm also going to get professional army corps and bold attack uh professional army corps is very nice for that daily command power gain um gives you a little bit more army experience gain five percent which isn't much but honestly i just like it for the daily command power gain i'm always finding that i'm out of uh command power so it, it definitely helps and bold attack is amazing if you want your officers to be great on offensive uh Whenever they uh, level up, I mean, it's literally what it says. It gives them a 1%, 50% uh, chance to level up one attack. Um, this is what skill one looks like, the uh, lowest level, 2.5% better attack. So I'm going to move down to one. I don't want to miss this because if they get guaranteed by the British, I am screwed. Okay. Would you look at that? We now have a war goal for the Netherlands. Careful not to hit spacebar. Well, the Dutch East Indies, I also have a war goal, are guaranteed by the British. Now, I wonder what would happen. I'm okay, actually going to cancel that order. If I were to say, I don't know, declare war on the Netherlands. I'm going to go back to uh, speed five. I'm going to wait a minute. The Netherlands have called the Dutch East Indies as our enemy in the Sammy Dutch War. It's just us versus them. I'm going to go back to uh, speed three. And we will start landing. I'm also going to be doing last stands. It's going to chew through. Um, but eventually. Eventually the uh, special operation will be done. <laughs> oh my goodness. They still have not capitulated. This is what happens when you stop playing Hoi 4 for a month. Okay, I'm going to restart this. Um, and because I already did a whole bunch of yapping and I don't feel like feel like saying anything that I've already said and I've said everything I've wanted to say. I'm just going to I'm just going to get back to this point. So I'm going to play a little bit more Hoi 4 and I'm going to get back to this point. And you know what? No, fuck that. I'm going to balls out this. Take 2. Uh, special operation number two. I'll actually land a troop there as well. Ugh, no, no, I, I, I fucked it up. I, I gotta, I gotta restart. Okay. See y'all in a minute. Okay, I am back. I've already declared war. I only have 15 paratroopers this time, but I am ready. So let's see how this goes. And hopefully, uh, hopefully it actually works out this time. Amsterdam has been taken. Come on, please land. I need U Utrecht. Ugh, no, I'm gonna for sure need this. I don't think I'll be able to get it. Okay, we took it, but <sighs> I still have Rotterdam, which is the issue. Um. No, that's disappointing. That is very, very disappointing. Uh, okay, no, this is this is fixable. So I'm gonna let him bash me there for a minute. You here? Okay, I will be deleting these two units. I'm going to pin, and then this guy in theory, should go here, uh, giving me Rotter. Again, in theory. If 
if this dust unit can hurry up and take this tile. <laughs> Come on. Just let him leave the, the tile. Okay. Pin. Take. Take. Come on. Come on. Okay, we took Rotterdam. It's everything. 100%. We did it. We did it. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Yeah, I'm just going to be puppeting uh, everyone. And I'm going to be taking resource rights uh, and factory rights. As, oh, I can't take their navy yet. Okay, I gotta reset this. Let me, okay. First thing I'm going to do, only one out of one. So I might not be able to take their navy. Let's, let's see, let's see. Let me be smart here. I'm gonna be smart. So I wanna puppet the Dutch for sure. Now I am very happy with that. Yeah, I didn't get all my resource rates. I didn't get all the uh, factory rates, but I did get a good amount. Uh, let's zoom the game for a minute. Sometimes it takes a second for the f resources and everything to come in. Uh, so let's look at this. I now don't need to be buying any of this. We have oil, we have aluminum, we have a ton of rubber. Uh, we got tungsten, steel, chromium from our normal lands. Uh, we have 26 factories, 19 of them are civilian. Okay, so this is my production, it's gonna be my production for now. Um, I really wanna get a couple collab govs on France so that as soon as I drop and land on them, I can collab them and they'll just be my free puppet. That way I am free to uh, focus on taking like the Norwegian lands. Uh, I won't be able to take the Danish lands because they're gonna surrender to Germany as soon as Germany goes to war with them. Very stupid, very annoying, but that's fine. Um, might be a smart idea to justify war goal on Finland because they will be guaranteed by the allies and then when the Soviets go to war with them uh, they're gonna have to fight the Soviets so yeah I'm gonna justify war goal on Finland and they just got guaranteed I'm gonna keep this war goal because it is a retake core state so it's never gonna go away uh, and the UK will keep guaranteeing them and then when the Soviet Union goes to war with uh, goes to war with uh, Finland we'll go to war with the allies Okay, so that war goal is done now for uh, Finland. It only took 100 days. Um, now they're guaranteed by both Britain and France. So I'm just going to keep this war goal. I'm not going to declare war. I'm not going to do anything. And instead, I'm going to let the Soviets make a uh, big mistake and go after him. And I'm going to be using all my puppets, troops that they give me. Uh, I'm just going to have them all travel down to here. I did forget that I took the uh, Navy. Let's see what that's looking like. Eh, I mean, it's not, it's not bad, I guess. Okay, let's bring them all down to the uh, channel for now. I'm also going to go service by requirement, move up uh, another conscription level, more manpower. The best part about going to war with the Dutch and beating them is we get rid of that horrible uh, spectator of the Great War debuff for them. So now we have access to their manpower. Is it a lot? N no, but that's also because they're on volunteer only. Uh, but every little bit does help. I'm gonna go with for this uh, extra research slot so I can get a third one. Uh, my research is very slow right now. I would like to be researching tanks, um, but I can't because you know I gotta focus on my my aircraft as well. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a collab gov on uh, France. I'm just gonna have to land normally. So what we'll do is create ten airfields inside our allied Germany, and then that's the uh, airfield that we'll use. Our paratroopers need to be put into position. I'm going to be just putting them on, you know, all the major victory points, the cities around them as well. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, Dutch East Indies because they have a ton of manpower. Um, they have half a million manpower, so I'm going to use their manpower and make some divisions. Uh, if you click here, it gives you access to the manpower of both your puppets, Netherlands, East Indies. Uh, so I'm going to take... This one's the best one. Get rid of that. Okay, I'm going to train up 
I guess I can only make 12 right now, but it's going to be good to have a uh, full army for sure. Even if it's just made up of puppets manpower. I just, I don't have a lot of manpower. I really don't. Yeah, I'm not going to do a collab because by the time it's done, uh, the war will have started and it's just going to be a waste of materials. That extra research slot is nice. Is my whole navy there? We got everyone. Yes, we do. Okay, let's exercise for now. Uh, let's get as good as we can. We don't have a lot of good ships. I'm going to justify a war goal on Iceland because I have time. I'm going to see if I can't take... <laughs> if I can't take Denmark. They'll probably get guaranteed by the British, not the French. Oh no. Uh, I think I still have time. Yeah, 139 days. It's going to take 200 days. Okay. We are okay, guys. We're good. Uh, more Indo troops. Yeah, there we go. Guaranteed by the British. That's fine, because my goal is just to take uh, Denmark. When will this be over? June 25th, 1939. I would like to be able to puppet them um, before the Germans do. I'm going to go with artillery, because I think right now that's my biggest priority. Guess we'll go army effort. 50% reduction. It's nice convoys and more of our troops. We'll be placing them here. Oh, they're already there. I'm actually going to move these guys up because I would like them to uh, assist in case the uh, in case Denmark doesn't just give up uh, without a fight. Doctrine effort again. I'm going to go superior firepower because it makes uh, frontline divisions uh, infantry, especially with artillery, much better. And that's kind of what I'm going to be going for here. 22 days and then I can set up my naval invasion for uh, Denmark. I would really like to take with Denmark. I would like for them to not surrender because then I can puppet them and take all their factories. And I don't think they have a lot of resources. I don't think they have any resources except like in Greenland and Denmark. At Greenland and Denmark, except in Greenland. Yeah. But they're factories. They've got a lot of civilian factories. And when I can integrate them eventually, I don't know. Maybe I can proclaim Nordic unity. I don't know. Reprepare our naval invasion. Okay. Let's move our navy over. We're going to need an admiral. Oh, that guy's cool looking. God, I love nations that have puppets. It's so easy to get war goals on them. So, so easy. Another spy. Oh, we're getting quite a few spies now that we got uh, Italy joining us. Oh, yay. Egyptian nationality. There's no Egypt. Okay. I need to win this war before World War II kicks off. So let's drop this down. Second, twenty third. Okay, and there we go. Justification, justification for conquering Iceland. No war goal. Declare war. Conquer. They are not going to give up. I don't think they're gonna. Oh, they lost Iceland. Iceland went off, did their own thing, and we lost our war goal on them. Interesting. Also, actually, maybe bring the rest of our... I think I only need 10 men to win this war. I'm going to get 10 more good men. I'm going to promote an officer. And I'm going to have these guys. I wonder if I'm going to be able to even get supremacy here. I don't think I own the Strait of Denmark technically, so I might not be able to. But if I can navally invade from the back, that'd be sick. Come on. Nice. It's too bad I couldn't get Iceland in that deal. Um, it is what it is. Same thing as before. We will be taking their navy. Puppeting them. Stacking on all uh, factory rights and resource rights. Yeah, it's really too bad Iceland no longer goes along too. That's fine. That's okay. Because I'm going to justify a war goal. Uh, hmm? Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to restart my game and see if I can't justify a war goal on Iceland. What the hell? Is it because technically I have a war goal on them? Is it? No, I don't. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. I just had to restart my game. I'm going to justify a war goal. This is how I'm going to enter the war. I wonder if I can capitulate Norway before Quasling can do his bullshit. I, I do wonder. I do wonder. Navy exercise. Um, let me see if this is even going to be possible. So these guys are going to be taking down France. Let's have... You know what? I'm going to have these divisions do my naval invasion of Norway. Because I should have naval supremacy. And then our navy will be used to secure here. Let's do this. Yeah. I'm going to have a small guard stationed right here to take this tile. And I should be able to capitulate Norway just like that. And then the rest of these troops will just go down to uh, the Dutch. Yeah. That way we can get Iceland into the war. Uh, and then I can maybe take them and hopefully I can take all of Norway and then Sweden will fall after. I'll probably go after Sweden after I'm done with the United Kingdom. They don't have a lot of resources. Oh no, they do. They still do right here, right here. Finland after the Soviet war. If I can proclaim Nordic unity with the Sami, that should be enough manpower to go after the Soviets and then the Germans or maybe the Germans and then the Soviets. Oh, well, that war started. Um, okay, 150 days, 150 days. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this justification. I am going to, okay, I'm gonna join the German war now, but I'm not going to be calling in any of my puppets. Okay, now that I'm at war with Germany, or with the UK, justify, it's only gonna take 30 days. 30 days and then I can go after Norway. That is ready. Let's see if our airdrop will work. Do I need to reduce autonomy to be able to request manpower? I don't know. Did they get rid of that? So far so good. <clears throat> uh, Paris has fallen. It's gonna give us a ton of factories or some factories. I don't need that many guns. What are we doing here, guys? Okay. France has fallen. I'm gonna have to request garrison support. There we go. I don't know why that wasn't showing up last time, but we need garrison support desperately. Nice. Very happy about this. Very, 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 very happy about that landing. U6, come here, see if we can't clean up. I know the Germans will help, but this is gonna be kind of toxic to clean up. I don't have manpower to even switch those, so I'm just gonna have to delete them. And I guess just really deal with the lack of manpower. Uh, I can make some more Indo troops. Uh, I can start making a fighter now. Well, no, I can't. I don't have any ex air experience. Let's get, okay. Okay, eight days. So no one want to give me garrison support? Look at this, Denmark. This is why I love Denmark. They're always being helpful. Justification complete. Come on, I need I need more than that. Uh, when I capitulated France, did they give us any planes? They did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this here. Let's grab all of these French fighters and bombers. Give us a little bit more intel there. And then, there we go. Um, I guess let's declare war. Let's see what happens, all right? Oh, naval invasion went off without a hitch. What am I missing? Can I take a lever room? And <clears throat> I guess that is a city also, isn't it? Ah, fuck you, Quasling. Ugh. What, what an annoying bitch. All my homies hate Quasling. Jesus, what? What an insufferable asshole. 
At least I was able to. God damn. What the hell? Family joined the Allies. <laughs> this game is getting so goofy. I thought Finland couldn't join factions. What does Norway even have left? That? Why don't we have anyone taking it? Golly jeepers, I hate. I hate Quasling so much. Uh, motherfucker. No, this is annoying. This is really annoying. I guess it's time to go after the UK. I mean, I know I have a tiny fleet. Maybe I can jump across the North Sea. Or here to here. Ah, it's just so annoying. It's just so annoying. It really is. We're going to land on Hull. Is that Norway? 92% really? Okay. Let's put our navy... Do you see that? Do you see what I'm seeing? The naval invasion is off, boys and girls. Let's put you on convoy escort for now. Okay, if I give them control of one state in France, that might, like, get them excited. So I'm going to give them Yorkshire. Finland has capitulated. If I give you all that, will that mean that you'll send some troops over finally? Because no way I can beat the British on my own. Maybe if I do some smart attacks like this. Concentrated. Yeah, that's working out well. And I'm going to do a force attack. See if I can't push some more. While I'm waiting for reinforcements to uh, show up. Making a lot of progress in the south now. Here we go. Fifteen percent is not a lot. But as long as we don't have to worry about the Americans later on, I'm good with this, man. Let's do force attack again. Our army has arrived, so let's have these guys assist in the assault. Okay. So obviously there's too much, too much manpower here. So let's fall back these guys. Actually, I'm going to put half there, two more there. I don't even know what these guys are here for. Ah, okay. And put you in the Netherlands. Yeah, when we take Bristol, it's going to be another resources, uh, uh, supply depot. That was pretty smart of them. Landing in Newcastle. Perhaps to the AI. London has almost fallen. That'll be another supply depot here. Are we even going to be able to take London? Because they're trying as hard as they can to not let us. I'm so close to taking London, man. There we go. The fall of London. German troops. No, Sammy troops. And I, okay, fine. It was it was it was a team effort. It was a team effort. Gonna need to take Edinburgh though. Okay, take Dover. Uh, not Dover, take Edinburgh. We are gonna be taking Dover in a minute. The United Kingdom has capitulated. Pretty sure that's one of my core lands. Bad peace deal. Oh my god. <laughs> well, at least my land is connected. God, that's disgusting. Disgusting. Soviet Congo. Yeah, the AI is so annoying in this. Preventing you from taking anything. Got a nice big navy now. 
Okay, so I did a few things different. Uh, I decided to not go through the Civil War. Yeah, I decided that Quasling had to die first. Uh, I don't care if that makes me lose the Netherlands or Denmark. Yeah, I'm gonna take out Denmark first. So I justified a war goal. It was just a retake core, so I, I keep it forever. Thankfully, they never got guaranteed. I was I was really scared that they were going to, because, you know, that's 33%, uh, but they never did. So what I am going to do now is I am going to declare war and hope this works. Wait a moment. Yeah, let's launch. Oof, that's not good. That's not good. So let's bring, oh, that's not good either. Oh, I took it because they had, they have such horrible uh, debuffs. <laughs> okay, Norway's about to fall. Yeah, that's Norway. Okay. Norway has fallen. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> that was so stupid. Uh, I think I'm just gonna annex everything. I don't really want to puppet them. It's gonna give us a lot more manpower because we own, uh, or because half of this is cores. Let me show you how many cores we got now. Yeah, just this little portion is not cored. So my next target is going to be Denmark. So I'm gonna justify a war goal on Iceland. It's gonna take 195 days. Yeah, I should be able to take Denmark and maybe even the Netherlands. Or no, do I wanna go after... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go after the Dutch East Indies first for that manpower. And then I'm going to rush Denmark before Germany goes to war. And then maybe I can get them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ask to join faction. They'll say yes. Thank you, Germany. We're going to move our transports on down and our infantry or our paratroopers down as well. We'll be uh, paratrooping, paratrooping into the Netherlands. <sighs> I'm willing to bet that they are guaranteed, yep, by the British and French. That is not my problem. Let's get some towed artillery. We need that many. So let's do something like that so that I can start getting some good divisions. And we are going to be dropping on Amsterdam. Okay. 29th of December. I should be fine. And I'm gonna switch to this division. It's cheaper. Uh, we should get back some more manpower. It also has better uh, suppression against uh, revolts and uh, resistance. Yeah, more guns, more artillery back. Let's make another division. Five. So I'm just going to be promoting every officer that I can. Um, because I have the command power to do it. And I'm going to need a lot of officers, probably. Okay. And this guy, I will promote, once I have 10 more command power, to be my uh, field marshal. Okay, I'm also going to get Professional Army Corps for faster uh, command power gain and bold attack. Let's promote this guy. For 30 days, he will lose one of his traits. So that's fine. He'll gain it back. Uh, gonna have him be an aggressive assaulter. I don't have the command power for that. Um, that division recovery rate's pretty bad, but that's fine. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. Let's go on to extensive conscription for more manpower. We're not hurting as bad for manpower now that we've taken over uh, Norway, but the manpower is definitely still going to be an issue. Okay. We've got a hun hundred of those uh, transport planes we don't really need anymore, let's be honest. Yeah, five and three. Okay, I'm gonna also be exercising these troops. Um, they have a horrible debuff when they're green. Look at that. Negative 25. So we will let them exercise. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on this. Naval effort, I guess. And transports. I'm gonna need to uh, navally invade. So what I'm thinking is I kind of want, <sighs> no, I'm gonna have to kill the UK. Prevent the allies from existing. 
if I'm going to be able to take over like fin uh, Sw Sweden and Finland, prevent them from being guaranteed, because I don't have any puppets for me to uh, exploit, like I am with the Netherlands and then Denmark. So I'm going to have to go to war with the allies. That's fine. They should be easy to beat. We've got a fleet now. Okay. 26th, I am going to slow the game down. 27th. 28th. Slowing it down again. Keep it on three for now. And we'll put it on one. So what I'm doing is I'm catching it on... I'm catching it on the hour of them being... Uh, me having the war goal, so... I don't know if you know this, but if you get a Wargle on a puppet, you also get the Wargle on the Master. Um, right now, Dutch East Indies is guaranteed, but the Dutch are not, or the Netherlands are not. So if I, on the hour, catch that Wargle before anyone can guarantee them, I can declare one in the Netherlands. I can wait a little bit, I don't know, a week, and uh, the Dutch will call in their puppet, and then I'll invade the Dutch, and then I'll have a new puppet. Welcome to Hoi 4, guys. See, we caught them on the minute. No guarantee. And with that guarantee, what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to just fight a war goal on Denmark. This is going to take 195 days, 200 days. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'm going to try my damnedest to, uh, to, to get Denmark. So let's declare war. Oh, we did it. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to puppet the Dutch East Indies. I could, probably could have just done take all. Um, I'm going to take resource rates from just a couple of islands. This has everything I need, so that's a good one. First, also puppet the Dutch and take their resource rights. Okay. I also want the fleet and I want the factories. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I'm happy with this. So we have the semi East Indies and the semi Netherlands. Um, we've got resource rights and a few of the islands here, uh, giving us everything that we need to cancel off those orders. I don't have to worry about stupid quasling during this war. I just have to very quickly, uh, take out Denmark, which I should hopefully do before the war begins. Oh yeah, let's check out the navy that we got from the Dutch. Couple of coastal defense ships, destroyers, tons of subs. Uh, I'm not going to do any more focuses. I'm just going to save up political power because I need a lot of it. I think I'm also going to make some uh, semi-East Indies units. Okay, let's copy this. July 7th. kind of think the war is going to start before then, if I'm being honest here. Okay, let's move over here, and I'm also going to pair drop into uh, Denmark because I want them to capitulate as fast as humanly possible. So, if having a bunch of pair troopers uh, landing everywhere as well helps, then uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Get radio propaganda, some more war uh, war support. Small little army being built up using my puppet's manpower. Zog is gone, which means in 70 days, Poland, uh, Molotov ribbon drop. I think I have 140 days left. Am I doing my, my math correctly here? Yeah, 70 days. I've got 20 days. I should be able to do it. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Same thing as before, we are going to get ready. There we go. War goal is done. Declare war. Conquer. Iceland, unfortunately, will not be called in. Um, they're just gonna probably 
leave because that's what they do. Okay, Navy is off. <laughs> Mark surrenders. Uh, yeah, we will protect them. There we go. Very nice, very nice. And I'm going to work towards Puppet annexing them. Okay. There we go. And... Let's move our planes down. I need... I need... I need... An airfield here in Moseland first, though. Um, I'm going to justify Wargle on Finland. It's going to be a retake core land. And this is going to get France and Britain to guarantee at least one of them. Uh, it should at least. Maybe not. Um, I would love to take out Finland and make them mine. That would be freaking awesome. So let's move that there. Yeah, so let's move our... Uh, I can't yet, but I can move my paratroopers up here and let's prepare a naval invasion of Finland okay I should be able to take Finland I think I'm gonna want to put some troops up here okay the airfield should have been built now but I can't find oh it's all the way up here it's like the worst spot for an airfield I'm not gonna be able to land on squat yeah, no, that's unfortunate because they basically have like, I guess they have a couple victory points all the way over here. Man, what a bad spot. <laughs> gonna keep training up some uh, Dutch East Indies infantry. Man, if they don't get guaranteed, that's gonna be sick. I would love a free Finland. I really would. Uh, man, they've got so many stuff. Oh, Soviet Union has a war goal. Uh, I'm gonna declare war, retake core land. And let's see what all we can take. A couple para drops. Nothing much, to be honest. Um, Soviets still have not declared war. <laughs> Punish them for their rudeness. <laughs> man, if I can capitulate Finland, I'll cry. I'll be so happy, man. I'll be so happy if I can get them to uh, fall before the Germans can take them. I'll be ecstatic. I mean, honestly, it's looking pretty good. We are seeing a massive, massive amount of progress. Come on, don't declare war, don't declare war. Soviets, you can hold for a minute. I know you can. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. And we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Take that. Um, one more percent. Nice. <laughs> Fuck you, Soviet Union. <laughs> oh, man. That's amazing. That's amazing. And I want their fleet as well. Submit demands. Take everything. <laughs> Uh, I love when this game works out. Okay, I'm gonna be preparing for the war with the Soviet Union. What I wanna do is go to war with the Soviet Union, be beating them, and then eventually strike on Sweden. Maybe Sweden will join the Soviets, but I have to be smart about this. I need to annex Denmark as fast as I can so that the German war goal that's gonna be on there and whenever they do that focus, whenever they do this focus, yeah, I'll need to annex Denmark and then just by war goal in Sweden, maybe Sweden will join the uh, Soviets. Okay, I am going to push them down a level and then annex them soon. Very soon. Very, very soon. They give me a ton of factories. I am producing a whole lot of everything. <laughs> okay, so the Soviets are justifying a war goal on me. Um, I figured that they would for this state here. Uh, how long is this going to take them? 135 days. Hopefully I can... I don't think I'll be able to annex Denmark by then. If I start a Lindlease, 
and get rid of a whole lot of stuff. 500, let's try, let's try. Also, let's sell equipment, add to market. I'm gonna sell all of these tanks. Market options, auto accept purchase. Okay, so the Soviet Union literally just declared war on me uh, and I'm annexing my puppet now. No war goals, no war goals on any of my puppets. How many puppets do I even have? Just two? Yeah, but no one has any war goals, so that's all that matters. Uh, these 11 divisions, I will be spreading across the lines. And let's... Man, I wish I could have done this. <sighs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, the United States got that. So I never would have been able to anyways. That's fine. That is whatever. Uh, and these Danish ships will definitely come in handy for protecting our waterways. Gonna just let the Soviets bash into me. Um, honestly, this shouldn't be too difficult. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the Axis. We're good in supplies. Let's open up political discourse. Uh, 39%. Now let's wait until we get to 40 and then I'll discredit government. The Soviets should not be able to navally invade me now. Do wonder what would happen if I would strike here. Okay, that's probably the worst idea that I've ever had. Let's send some uh, reinforcements in. It's gonna be doing a f force defense and that's gonna give me time to actually get into combat and whatnot. Uh, the Soviets are bashing in pretty difficult, uh, pretty hard. What I have so far is I'm on trench warfare and I also have the static warfare. So I'm getting some pretty decent uh, entrenchment, 41%. Yeah, 41%, that's not bad at all. Uh, let's go offensive doctrine. This guy's gonna be fucking amazing. It's already at 15% better. Uh, yeah, that's why. Okay, we'll just keep holding. Uh, we've lost 40k and the Soviets have lost 300,000. Just gonna save up army experience because I plan on switching to a different doctrine once I start pushing. Let's improve worker conditions because we are not doing too good. Um, I don't want to switch off this to political, political loyalty. So, because this is making my generals amazing. Infantry expert, uh, adaptable. Okay, and we'll just keep holding. Um, let's start also annexing down our Dutch East Indy puppy puppet. Move off military governor onto civilian oversight. I should have done that earlier so that I could have gotten a lot more compliance. Soviets will be bashing into me for a while now. Okay, I'm going to discredit the government. Ah, 48%. To justify a war goal on Sweden. I don't know if this is really stupid. <laughs> Damn, okay, never mind. Cancel justification. They got guaranteed by the UK. That's totally all right. So my units are almost out of uh, manpower. My my personal units. Uh, these guys are. Everyone else is doing good. Like the the, the Dutch troops are doing good. Uh, logistics wizard is going to be the best idea. And infantry expert. Infantry expert. <laughs> okay, we can switch. <laughs> Uh, let's hold a national referendum. Dang, we get stability plus 10% for uh, 730 days. So that was a great idea. And then we'll do this again for more stability. Okay, okay. I am the Republic of the Sami. Gonna improve relations with the British and weaponry as well. We have killed over a million Soviets. We're gonna join the allies. This is going to send us over a whole lot of uh, units. I am going to not join their war, but I'm going to call them into mine. It's the uh, Soviet Union. And with all my new friends, I am going to request new territory. Uh, request garrison support. This is going to very quickly help me uh, survive. I'm going to request more for my puppet. There. Ooh, 400,000. Yeah, my garrisons are good to go. I'm not gonna push against the Soviets yet. 
I mean, in some places I, I definitely could now because Molotov Ribbentrop just happened. But I'm going to wait for the Soviets to mostly run their troops down to Germany. And then I'll be able to uh, push. I just got to wait a minute. No, I push now. I push now. Aggressive. The Soviets are very much caught off guard. Yeah, let's 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 go. Let's go. Leningrad has been secured and the United States has joined our faction. We are seeing a lot of success in the north right now. We're just having a lot of success everywhere. Um, not now that we're running out of supply, not really, but what you gonna do? You men will clean this up and the rest of the army will go down here. Uh, I'm gonna be switching over to superior now. I don't think that I need a hold against the Soviets at this point. Um, if anything, I just need to push them out. I, I will continue the assault though. And I can hire him for a chief of army or military high command, chief of army. Definitely an off army offense specialist. I already have one right there, but I'm gonna fire him and I'm going to replace him with my other one because he might eventually get better at what he does. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I didn't actually take it just yet. Uh, okay, for now I'm just going to be pausing my assault. Um, I really don't think that I'm going to be able to do any pushes, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold. Um, yeah, and we're missing a lot of guns, so we're definitely just gonna sit here for a moment. The Germans can push. <laughs> the British made a small naval invasion. Uh, yeah, let's make a fighter. <clears throat> it's gonna have heavy machine guns so that it can compete. Oh no, I don't even, I don't need that because I got the uh, allies and they're building tons of fighters too. So just light machine guns, light machine guns, light machine guns. And engine three, I don't have. Are you kidding me? I never, I just noticed he never gives you air experience. Technically plugged in, but I'm going to make sure it's even more properly plugged in. We've got supply in this area, so I say we push again. <laughs> Rome has fallen. This is going to make the this game so much easier since uh, Italy's already throwing. <laughs> the Allies want this to be a new front so bad. It will be eventually. Just calm down. Golly, geez. God, none of the supply depots are close, are they? Uh, we're no longer making beautiful progress, so everyone quit your uh, horsing around. Okay, I'm going to be making a spy agency, and uh, honestly, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. Um, I guess for starters, I'm going to be waiting for this deep snow debuff to go away, uh, and then maybe I can push again. But, you know, it's going to be a while before that happens. We also need a hella amount of guns. I'm just going to make casts. I'm not even going to make fighters because the allies should assist me in that uh, department. So let's go cast weapons. How much does this do? Where is it? Where is it? Ground attack is only 0.2. Why would you want to do this? Oh, it's for attacking naval. That's why. Okay. So we're going to do small Bombay because it has eight. Uh ground attack you can do spawn bombay and bomb lux nice little cast right there still have deep snow here let's do localized training centers and elusive gentlemen Ugh. now we have mud we gotta wait for that uh spring mud to go away we should be able to do a nice good assault i'm not gonna do force attack on that i'll do a force attack on this one. Oh, i didn't even notice that this got encircled. <laughs> what? <laughs> that wasn't me though. Ooh, Soviet spy. Let's put you here. Ooh, nice little encirclement. Get rid of them. Hell yeah. Okay. And another Soviet spy. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. 
Uh, let me give you a massive hint for fighting the Soviet Union. Don't ever fight them when it's snowing. Don't ever fight them when there's mud. Uh, don't ever fight them when there's deep snow. Um, wait till spring. Wait till early summer. You're gonna have a lot more success. I promise you, you're gonna have so much more success if you wait till summer. Can I take Archangel? Soviet spy number two. Put you there, actually. I'm gonna put you here because I'm not looking for a uh, spine web. I'm just kind of looking for... I forgot! I'm democratic so I can't do a collab government. That's cringe. That is cringe. Also, that is cringe. In the assault. Uh, we can go down our doctrine again. 25% uh, soft attack plus 10. Uh, organization for support companies. So our troops should be able to last in the field a little bit better. Because uh, if you don't know, every single support company takes away organization. Uh, yeah, and that just helps kind of negate that a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do one more push because I have a f month or two to be able to do it. Let's do a force attack there and the Axis powers are starting to fall. Uh, hopefully I can finish off the Soviet Union before Germany gets too weak. I mean, I don't mind Germany being weak, I just don't want them to capitulate before I can, you know, get my grubby hands on everything. The challenge only requires me to own uh, Berlin, but, you know, that's, that's going to be a hassle. actually would very much like to push down to here. I think that's a uh, supply depot. <laughs> yes, it is. If I can take that supply depot, I'll be so happy. I will be so very happy. So let's keep pushing down. Make sure that bad boy is plugged in which it is. Dude, the Soviets are not going to survive long. I would very much like to take Archangel. Uh, because that is another supply depot, and I am starving in the north. And my Belgian spy. I'm going to put on Berlin. Nice. Big, big, big pocket. Clean this up. Don't let the Germans get the kills. Need to improve my KD. So we're going to stop our assault. And we're going to reposition our lines until the end of winter because it is starting to uh, snow. Uh, I think I'm going to build some supply depots. Just three of them. Um, May 1st. Yeah, that's probably when I'll be pushing again. So in the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and just hold. Yeah. Yeah, non-aggression. Non-aggression pact is not going to happen with the uh, Soviet, uh, Japanese. That's fine. The Soviets are pushing pretty, pretty hard because I have no supply. Soviets are making some really big pushes because my supply is just trashed. Ah, oh, man. Soviets really are pushing so much. Them having supply and me not having any at all. Gotta admit, 
very inconvenient. I don't want to lose that tile. Yeah, I'm going to ask for mili military access from the uh, Germans. And... I think I'm going to try to spread this line out a bit. And see if I can't ease my... <laughs> my my supply issues okay supply has returned in this area okay uh we should be fine push in as before force attack to retake some of this land that we lost during the uh, winter Okay, so Stalingrad just fell. <laughs> the Soviets are just a little bit closer to uh, capitulation. I oh, still have so many troops, man. So many. And I have, like, no manpower. Otherwise, I'd be launching as many uh, casts as I can. You know what? I'm going to delete this. It's going to give me 23,000 manpower, which I'm going to use to recruit all of this cast. Okay, so we... <laughs> I took Archangel. Let's plug it in. It's already uh, technically plugged in because it's a port, but oh, uh, it's gonna starve out <laughs> the Soviet divisions here. And I gotta take these. Oh, there's so many supply depots. They have so many troops, man. They have so many troops. Okay, hopefully this will be the last assault that I need. Um, the Soviets are very close to collapsing. Um, yeah, we're having a lot of success right now. <laughs> a lot of success. 93%. Hmm. Oh, they finally capitulated. <laughs> okay, kind of a messy. Uh, ooh, got the achievement, cool. Um, kind of a messy piece still, but I wanted kind of like a border between me and the Germans, so I didn't have to worry about that. Um, okay, let's prepare all of our invasions. I am going to join the war now. Yeah, I don't know why not. And we will be calling our puppet in. Keep pushing, keep pushing eventually. Uh, we will have the Germans beat. Actually, we're having a lot of success right now. God damn. Yeah, I gotta start integrating this. Um, okay, let's get their autonomy down.
Okay, I'm gonna do another big push. Germans are incredibly weak at this point. Um, I'm just gonna push these guys. Just everyone push. We are right outside the doors of Berlin. That's it. That's Berlin. God, I have so much manpower now. Yeah, these guys are going to focus on the bottom of the axis. Okay. Yeah, the Germans have pretty much given up. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I'm lowering their autonomy now as we speak. Um, yeah, quit, quit fighting. Okay, we'll just wait. Ooh, nice. As we encircle more and more Axis troops, this should get easier. Ooh, yeah, that is a nice big encirclement. Clean it up. Get out of here, Germany. Okay, Germany has capitulated. Paris has been liberated. Um, now we all... Now we really all need to do is just... Finish off these little suckers here. But I'm going to be deleting all these troops so that I can stop using my puppet's manpower so that I don't lose uh, my puppet. I'm gonna wanna put this here. Yeah, it's almost over for the Axis. Okay, with Budapest and Pex taken, uh, the Hungarians should capitulate, and then we just have Romania, Bulgaria, and Italy. Hungary did not capitulate, so I'm going to have to take another victory point. <laughs> we just need to beat uh, Bulgaria now. Should not be difficult at all. Let's see what this peace deal looks like. Germany is still alive. Of course he is. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he be still alive? Ah, uh, the Portuguese Republic. <laughs> Which means that there is a Portugal somewhere down here. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, we got a German Republic. Got a, uh, well, I took Berlin. August 14th, 1948. The challenge is complete officially. I own Berlin. I own all of my cores as the Sammy. Oh, that was a super exhausting game. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Alrighty then. <sighs> So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Well, I technically didn't do the challenge because I joined a faction. I'm still very very happy with with everything that happened in this game. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I I cannot wait to see what what Brian ends up doing. I'm sure that he actually did not fail the challenge, uh, unlike me, because um, <laughs> I think he had the video done way before me. Uh, either way, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I will be posting. Uh, once a week every Saturday I'm gonna be posting I guess hopefully around like 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time something like that or maybe it's gonna be on Sunday I haven't decided yet I haven't decided yet I gotta figure that out um, but I'm gonna post once a week I want to start doing some multiplayer games as well this was something that I had no interest in doing but as time goes on I don't know maybe 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 that's something I want to do maybe I want to make a discord and, and get some people and we can do uh, some multiplayer games I think that'd be fun um, if it's something that might interest you, let me know. 
yeah, I, I'm very excited to start making more content. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. Uh, if if you wanna if you wanna help me uh, be able to do YouTube full time, uh, please subscribe. Uh, please, I don't know, enjoy my content. If you don't, uh, let me know what you didn't like about it. Yeah, thank you for watching. Please have a great rest of your day.